Well, fall can be a really bad season for allergy sufferers in Central Texas, and it's not just ragweed. KXA's Rosie Newberry is here in the studio to tell us about one we haven't seen in a while. For the first time in two years, a native Central Texas allergen is showing up on the pollen count. It's marsh elder. It's a weed that can be found from coast to coast. It's been flowering here in Central Texas since June. Wind carries its pollen into the air, and then you know what? It makes people sneeze. They itch. They have headaches and watery eyes. It can also make it difficult for people to breathe. Marsh elder thrives when we don't have such long dry periods in the summer, and this was one of those years. This year had more rainfall than we had in 2015, and that pattern was also a lot more regular, with at least a couple of inches of rain every month. Month. After an astounding June total last year, near nine inches, Camp Mabry received no measurable rainfall for about 50 days. We broke that streak in August with only a third of an inch of rain. This year, the rain has been a lot more steady, and so a lot more marsh elder flowers have bloomed. Now, between yesterday and today, marsh elder has nearly doubled on the pollen count, and it's expected to be measurable for another two to three weeks. Its distant cousin is ragweed, well known to be an allergy culprit, and it's expected to be medium high over the next few weeks, too. In fact, allergy sufferers are going to dislike this bad news, but for the next few months, conditions are going to be good for continued growth, so that means allergists are predicting a bad season for redberry juniper and its relative cedar. All right, a lot of people around here are 